know, the machines, you have to characterize them enough so that they'll pull people's attention into the show and people will be drawn to them as characters. And so, you know, this machine's got a lot of character. And machines that have a lot of character don't have to do, you know, they don't have to be doing big brutal things, have flamethrowers on them or, you know, they can, they can get by with attracting the attention of an audience just by looking cool, you know, or just by moving in a really unusual way that usually isn't associated with a, a machine. This really is probably one of the most anthropomorphic machines we've had. You know, it's like uh, a lot of kinds of animals where you look at them like a snake and stuff, and like, why doesn't the snake just have legs, right? Why does it have to have a, a body that moves around like that? That doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do things, or, you know, why do animals have tails? You know, they don't really, it doesn't seem like they do much with them, but those things are actually really important. And this machine just sort of, I think, uh, taps into the sort of unconscious awareness we have of things like snakes or tails or, uh, you know, octopus arms, you know, things that aren't traditional uh, parts of an animal. And so what I've done is I decided to make a push-pull winch. It's a pretty unusual way of, uh, it's, a, it's a common way of moving uh, long distances precisely, uh, but you really don't see it much out of the oil or mining industries. You can see right now the cable is running through a tensioner on one side. And it's running through a tensioner, and the tensioner is, the tension on that cable is controlled by the spring. This item here, this unit here, creates what's called compliance and that keeps the thing from breaking apart when it winds itself up to its near to its limit in one direction or the other. So this is going to be the, the basic mount for it. It's going to change, I'll change it quite a bit, but essentially these forks will come off and there'll be a mount that comes out here with a pivot on it, two mounts and a pivot right here, and that pivot will mount right here. So this whole unit will be able to go from about 90 degrees are actually about 120 degrees, like down like this. You know, I'm just pointing straight down and then all the way straight up. So you'll be able to do the whole, like a bull whip thing with it and rotate it around up in the air there on itself. And uh, it'll also be able to dip down, it'll be able to be a little more maneuverable for it to pick up stuff with. And if it's got a pivot here, it'll be able to grab stuff and throw it forwards. Because this speed here, is not going to be as fast as this speed up here because it takes a lot more uh, energy to lift the arm up than it does to move it side to side. So the side to side is going to be the high speed axis on this. But if I have a, a tilting axis, I'll be able to get the front and back speed to go pretty fast, not quite as fast. And that'll allow it to throw things in a straight forward direction.